tis carb cycling. Now, carb cycling isn't necessarily a fad diet, it's more of a dieting strategy, come from the realms of bodybuilding into mainstream fitness. If you see the picture I posted earlier in the week, you'll see my stab at a three week carb cycle. Just to sort of see what results I would get and weigh up some pros and cons of carb cycling for the purpose of this video. So, carb cycling is relatively simple. All you're doing, you're manipulating your carbohydrates depending on your activity level for the day. So for instance, if I was resting, um, day off training, doing some, maybe some light cardio, I would bring my carbohydrates right back. And days that I was maybe lifting heavy in the gym, doing big sessions, I would go balls to the wall with my carbs. So why would you even use a carb cycle? Now, carb cycle, again, it's a dieting strategy, not a fad. So people would use this to break through plateaus of dieting. So say for instance, you've been dieting a while, you've put your calories down and you're losing weight. Your expenditure's still up here. Now over, the, over time, these two points are gonna meet where your expenditure is gonna come down. Your body will get used to the amount of calories you put in it over time. That's why being in a calorie deficit all year round isn't great because you're gonna bring down that expenditure. And then you're gonna hit that point of plateau where you're not gonna be losing fat, you're gonna be disheartened because you're training, your calories are at, in, a, in a deficit and you're not losing any fat. So people use a carb cycle to break out of this plateau. So when you're in that calorie deficit, you've got to remember everything down regulates, hormones down regulates, metabolism slows down. We lose fat, but we also lose muscle. So adding in loads of carbohydrates on training days will upregulate all them hormones such as the insulin, it will boost metabolism, and effectively put you in a muscle building state for the days that you're training when you really need them carbohydrates. So should you do a carb cycle? Now, if you struggle to get to the gym anyway, it's probably not a good idea. If you struggle planning food and being organized with your food, probably not a good idea. You have to be very, very organized with both of these training days and planning your food about when, what time you're gonna eat this, what day you're gonna eat this. So again, if, if you're in a calorie deficit and you're very organized with your food and you're working out your macros, it may be a good idea. But from personal experience, I found it okay most of the week. I did find the way I structured it personally, I had high day Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and one at the weekend, and then I had a low day in between. And that was the ideal way to do a carb cycle. Now, it didn't always work out like that. Some days, you know what happens, something comes up, and you can't train at days. You've ate loads of carbs, and you haven't been able to train. So you kind of, you kind of messed up the cycle a little bit. Or I was having to train like three days back to back, then have three days off, just because work commitments and whatnot. So it didn't really work in that way. So you have to be really, really organized with carb cycling and your training in order for it to work. Um, personal experience, yeah, I would say it's gonna work for some people. There's loads of stuff out there where people get banging results from carb cycling. But yet again, if you struggle to even log food or go to the gym, it's probably not a good method to go with. Also guys, leave your comments below if you like this video.